Okay, it seems that my intro is still broken. Oh, I see why it's hidden. That's why it's not activating when I switch to this. <laughs> oh well. Hello again, anyone who may be watching now or later. And welcome to Alien Sub with me, Hillian, along with... Ik bin Drakir. <laughs> and this time, we're actually welcome to Death of the Outsider. I... I really should have checked if this game was, well, if this DLC was a standalone game or not, as, well, well people who saw it yesterday might have figured out. Yeah, do it again. You were, I think most, most people are more used to DLCs than the standalones. Yeah. Standalone DLC is becoming a bit more of a thing these days, but yeah, typically it's still in the game. So, yeah. Also, yeah, I this is a bit of oddity. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, also, I just... Oh, actually, I've forgotten one thing. Uh, yeah, because my new camera, there is something different with it. Uh, first off, let's start the two-hour uh, timer, of course. And do this to improve the green screen effect. Because for some reason, the lighting oh, with this cam camera is... Or it, it captures the lighting in just a different enough way for it to mess with the green screen a bit. Which... Yeah, makes it not light, uh, not well lit enough in some places. It, at the moment, it's not too visible, I think, but I've had to place two extra lights around the room. One being, well, the phone, which is just taking the timer as well now. And the other one is over here. It isn't too visible at the moment, but with uh, a, a background that is too dark or light, it does become a lot more noticeable. So, yeah, I'll have to put up extra more permanent light somewhere or maybe I should see if the bulbs in that thing up there are broken or not but they they look to be working right well enough they are at their max strength so yeah I'll, I'll have to figure that out on my own hopefully by next week that'll be done for now though let's get into the campaign there's no continue of course <laughs> And yeah, as is very obvious, we are going to be playing as Megan Foster, a.k.a. Billy Lurk. Yeah, one last fight. You're on the lookout for your old mentor, Dowd, whom you've not seen in 15 years. Rumors speak of a clandestine boxing club that uses black magic and bone charms at the Alberca Boss. Could you be there? Okay, so we're going to be hunting down Dowd. All right. Okay. My name is Billy Lurk, 
though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden, captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. Every night for weeks, the same terrifying dream. A street fight, my arm dead and lying in the gutter, my eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. That boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. Okay, so yeah, that that basically can... Well, well <laughs> it was basically already confirmed, but... Yeah, Bailey lost her arm and her eye while she was fighting the Grand Guard trying to get to uh, Stilton. Let's see, what is this? Okay, I guess yeah. this means that it takes after. Let's see, Empress Emily Caldwin moves to heal Fractured Empire. Renovation projects to the Tower District are finally underway as the last funeral rites were performed by High Overseer Yul Kulan and the Brothers of the Fate who died in an attempt to retake down the world tower from the now deposed usurper, Delilah Copperspoon. The Abbey of the Ivoryman has spent the last several months cremating and interring the remains of the fallen, while also removing dangerous and heretical objects from the Imperial Palace. Eh? They probably spend more time on that than on the burials. With representatives from the Isles beside her, Empress Emily Caldwin issued a statement yesterday morning urging unity in the wake of this great tragedy. Pardon? The Empire's strength is in its diversity of thought and action, working together. There is nothing we can't accomplish. We are uh, pleased to reassert our partnership with the sovereign nations of Morley, Sarkonos, and Tivia for mutual peace and prosperity. Following these proceedings, the, uh, several pure proclamations have been issued with the aim of restoring trade networks and communication across the Isles. Several large-scale public works have been announced, with structural firms in Sarkonos and Morley already competing for the commissions. Okay. So, her imperial... Oh. At any time, you can review your list of contracts from your journal. Uh, to go to contracts, you can activate the markers on targets and some additional hints are provided in the description. If you succeed a contract, you will be rewarded with a good amount of coin and sometimes buy a bone charm. Well, Highness is back on the throne. If she knew okay. what I was doing now, she'd probably try me for treason. Uh, yeah, <laughs> finding for doubt. I very much doubt that Emily would be forgiving of him for what he did, even if Corvo didn't cut him for that. <laughs> uh, were you trying to say something? Your icon lit up. I thought gold. <laughs> Also, speaking of your uh, icon, it sort of serves as a watermark for these recordings, doesn't it? <laughs> I have not thought of it. Let me finish showing my food. <laughs> Sokolov establishes studio in Tivia. Renowned natural philosopher and painter Anton Sokolov returned to Tivia this week after years of retirement in Kanaka. 
Sokolov, whose invention and technological marvels are famed throughout the Isles, was greeted with the fanfare and Penelope. Uh, Penelope. Uh, that sounds a lot like that, from the name Penelope. Uh, due a national hero. A parade in his honor culminated in a festival on Mastrov Square in Dabokov. Uh, Dab Dabokva? Dabokva. Where Sokolov gave a brief speech announcing the establishment of his studio. When asked about his future plans, the inventor responded, I've already done enough for several lifetimes. The inventor was overwhelmed by the infernal noise of the parade and left the celebration early. He gave no indication whether or not his studio will accept the Francis's. Okay, so he's back to painting. Good to see the old man made it up north. I was lucky to know him. I wonder what poor soul is dealing with him now. <laughs> of course. Is this what you would have looked like? My sweet Deirdre, I would have died soon after you, if it hadn't been for Dowd. Yeah, Deirdre was killed by the the Duke's brother. And I guess, well, we'll, we'll have to see a bit later how things are, but from all the, uh, all the promotional material and, well, the, <clears throat> the uh, intro scene, it looks like one thing that we can scratch off this canon, uh, that of the list of that uh, happened, or is canon, was the fact that, uh, yeah, Stilton was saved from madness, because Billy is still missing her arm and eye, which were restored to her if we will prevent Stilton from going mad. Yeah, and also, um, just a disclaimer, while uh, Lucas' brother killed the girl on photo at Daedra, he did it due to was pressured by Luca to do it. Yeah. So the girls is on Luca, not the brother. Since the brother was basically pressured to do it. Yeah, and he was the one just... that barely offed. Yeah. When they when she was a kid. Yeah, bloody heck. Uh, also, before we get, uh, how was my Dutch earlier? Uh, decent enough. <laughs> But it was more German. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Burn the White Hound. Or the coin for that. Uh, an eyeless hag stole my poor Milky. His white as whalebone and but riddled with disease. It breaks my old heart to ask this of you, but if you find my Milky, please put him out of his misery and burn his remains. Save him from uh, those cursed eyeless and save Karnaka from another plague. Eyeless is a term we've heard before during the main game. I, I, I think I've forgotten oh, that completely. Yeah, we, it only been a, a few mentions, I think. Not enough to actually be of importance. Uh, let's show. And industrial espionage. Uh, those thugs at the Albern Alberca. Make potions and bone charms upstairs. Their liquor is vile, but it sells for good coin, and we're losing punters to them by the day. Bring us the rat liquor recipe before our brewery goes out of business. And make sure to destroy their stock while you're at it. Um, okay, so... Ilian, look at the bottles. Yeah, <laughs> it's they something... call it rat liquor for a reason. <laughs> yeah. 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 Picking pockets. Dowd taught me more than just killing. It can keep me afloat. For now. Hmm. I really hope they don't put rats in the liquor. I really hope they don't. Uh, it's the owls. <laughs> We've seen much worse. Let's see. Forgiven. I wouldn't have blamed Emily for killing me then and there. Bringing, uh, bring down an empress and everything gets thrown into chaos. A lot of people got hurt. But it was worse than that, wasn't it? I helped kill her mother. That's two times I was spared, but at least I got the portage right. Is this how doubt felt? Feels? My dreams are getting worse too, stronger. Sometimes I stare at my right arm like it shouldn't be there, and my head hurts like I'm blinded by blood. I started to write it all down just to keep a hand on it. Wait, does it mean that she does have her arm and... Oh, hello there in chat, Sari. Hello, Sari. <laughs> uh, thank you for visiting the stream. Uh, <clears throat> uh, doing well, I'd say. <laughs> I'm still embarrassed for a screw up yesterday, but that's why we're making it up today. Yep. 
And yeah, that's Drakir. Uh, I point to the wrong side of, with my camera, but yeah, he's on screen there. <laughs> point at me and I'll bite your finger off. <laughs> Let's see. Sometimes I stare at my right arm like it shouldn't be there, and my head hurts like I'm blinded by blood. I started to write it all down just to keep a handle on it. So, wait, does she do does she have her arm? Hmm. Two weeks on uh, two weeks until I'm back in Karnaka, the longest two lo uh, weeks of my life. Even if I make it and the engine is rattling bad, or if I even make it, my old self again. It feels good to say the name. Even better to hear it. And in, uh, now it's on every corner of Karnaka. Wanted, Billy Lurk. But sending out messages to my contacts in the city, following up the sightings and rumors. But nothing yet. We even listen to the rats. Sometimes they know things others don't, and their voices remind me so much of Deidre. I found the old man's wanted poster in a trunk. Now I'm looking for doubt just like all of Darton World was years ago. Uh, I hope I have more luck than they did. And I hope that isn't too audible, but apparently someone started up the shower. I can't hear it on my end. Yeah, it's not triggering the microphone. Let's see. A long shot. One last lead. An underground boxing club of all places. Doubt could be fighting there. Maybe another dead end, but I have to be sure. I tried to pump out the engine room, but no use. My ship's dead in the water. Megan Foster would have been furious, but I'm not. I've got other things to care about now. Okay. It, it feels like this is going to be a lot more open world. But that's the idea I'm getting. Yeah, I can use too. And I wonder, can we look at our arm or something? Uh, I don't think mirrors work. Uh, have been <laughs> shown to be working in any of these games. Uh, let's see. Eyeless remain eyesore for our city. I don't think <laughs> uh, mirrors been working in games for a while. Yeah, only a rare few do it, because it can be pretty tricky, from what I hear. I've been searching for months. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. Okay, just a quick stop, just to make sure that this is good for everyone. Let's see, audio, subtitles. Let's put it on main dialogue. Or actually, let's put it on all. It might mean yeah, it gets overwritten by some, but still. At okay, least it can be a good uh, warning if someone's nearby. That club is run by a gang that call themselves the Eyeless. Oh, they're they a gang. They claim to fight using black magic. If that's true, then Dowd might be involved. That ac that actually brings up a point. Uh, in Dishonored One, whenever you use dark vision, uh, actually it's your character closing their eyes as well. It seems. So yeah, they they are seeing with eyelessly, you know, if that makes any sense. Seeing with closed eyes. Yep. Let's see. Eyeless remain eyesore for a city. Two raids by the Grand Guard occurred last night, resulting in few arrests as investigations continue into the activities of the gang known as the Eyeless. Both raids were conducted on derelict warehouses in the Campo Seda dockyards. Uh, Campo Seda. That sounds like a, a fraternity. Several, yeah, several shipments of whalebone were found at boat scenes, along with many carved talismans familiar uh, on sailing ships. These trinkets, marked with strange insignias, were collected along with various unidentified powders, noxious plants, and vials of unknown liquid. Though these items add credence to the rumors of black magic being practiced by the Eyeless, the Grand Guard has not called for overseer support. Roving Vice Overseer Cardoza of the Abbey of the Everman, by saying that five times fast, uh, when reached for comments, stress the spiritual dangers of carved will, uh, carved bone charms, and if found, to bring them directly to your nearest overseer outpost for inspection and disposal. He gave no further remarks on the Grand Guard's ongoing investigation. Okay, so they aren't playing too nice with each other. Notes about Al uh, Albarca bats. Went to see old Mads again. Traded some old whalebone and a bit of hair, not mine, for information. She's making charms for the eyeless now. Good clients, pay regular, and I left before Madge tried to pick my pocket. Some witches from the Royal Conservatory joined the eyeless. Uh, powerless no- oh, hello there. Hello, Rom! <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Rom. 
Hello, Robbie. Yeah, there he is. What's your group um, <laughs> Doing well? Uh, I have a headache. Every oh, still there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to say, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure they got rid of the chaos mechanic, of the order chaos mechanic here, so you can actually just kill people if you want to. Okay, we'll, we'll see if it pops up or not. I have heard uh -oh. a lot of good things about this, though. And I get the feeling it's going to be more open world like. Let's see. Some witches from the old conservatory joined the eyeless, powerless now. None of the Breakmore days who would re. None, oh, none from the Breakmore days who would remember me, at least. No reason to think they'll look twice if I go in like anyone else. Are these people just messing around or is there something I'm not seeing? I uh, think I lost my pocket knife. Mads, curse that old woman. Can't know if doubts at the Elber Arca uh, bots until I go check it out for myself. Last lead I've got. Okay, Mark of the Outsider. Doubts had the Mark of the Outsider in his hand for as long as I've known him. I've gone through every gang infested slum asking after this, and no one would tell me a thing. I'll admit it, it's a pretty cool mark. Yeah, I've always wanted a tattoo of it on my hand. Uh, I'm not sure I'd get it on my hand at the very least because uh, I kind of want to restrain the, you know, keep the use of it. Let's see, reply from oh, Isabel. Dear. Megan, you must be pretty desperate if you're writing to me about this. Yeah, I saw him. He set up a meeting to buy some of those funny explosives that fell off the back of a carriage a few months ago. I've, I waited for him, but he never showed up. Sorry I can't be any more help. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Put me in a real bind. Isabel. Also, hey, you were kind not to mention it, but I forgot... Uh, but I didn't forget I still owe you that case of free grind after what happened last time. Uh, give me two more months, I swear I'll get it to you. Okay. Karnaka is full of secrets. If I have any clues about where Doubt is, it's because he let me find them. Yes, he's been working on this for quite a while. Everyone in Dunwall was afraid of him then, but not me. And let's see. The offenses of this man and his gang of lackeys known as the Whalers are high crimes on the, under the Imperial law. This assassin wields deadly arcane weapons and endangers all our citizens to report any suspicions to the city watch. Okay. Re reward by Emily Caldwin. Yep. Reply from Kitrek. Dearest Megan, what an intriguing message. Who, who's this then? An old lover? Forgive me, but he doesn't has really seem your type. But if you must, I, yeah, I heard a rumor a few months ago from some gentleman that a man looking like that had been spied with uh, those bizarre eyeless. I filed that pl uh, piece of gossip away just in case it was important. Luck of you. When are you coming back here? We make it soon. We miss you. We have uh, some of that tobacco you like stored away, just in case you visit. Loving you always, Evie Kitter uh, Kitterick. Okay. And then lastly, reply from T. Billy, or Megan, or whatever you go by these days, I don't know anymore. It was easy to pretend we didn't know each other when you were Megan. We agreed to respect both our new lives and not dredge up bad memories. So what are you, go uh, so <clears throat> so what are you doing? Yeah, I saw him two years ago here in Kanaka. He even asked yeah, about he even asked after you. I said I hadn't seen you since that night in the flooded district. I'm sure you know why I lied. He never stopped killing, you know. He's got the same old grudges. Yeah, I just hope you're not one of them. See, so that sounds like it was a yeah another whaler. Hmm. I do wonder if they still have their powers and such since they derive their powers from Daud. Similar to, uh, this station hasn't been used for years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy, but it's safe so far. Uh, similar to how Delilah's witches got their powers from her, but Doubt is still alive, so I presume there are still whalers around that still have their powers, unless distance also plays a role. And again, I, I think that was the entire role of Ashworth. Uh, that she was, um, um, <clears throat> she was uh, acting as a relay for Delilah's power, so that the witches here could have theirs as well. Possible. With a state of it, there was still some who could use the powers even with her gone. Hmm. 
Now, I, I, we missed this originally once we, while we were in the conservatory. But after we knocked out Ashworth, or got rid basically dealt with her however way, uh, all the other witches in the building would be knocked out. Oh! Yeah. Okay, then uh, your fear might be something then. Okay, no swimming. Somebody oh, throws themselves just... of like, YOLO, and starts swimming on the ocean. Uh. <laughs> Rat whispers. Uh -oh. Press F to hear the thoughts of the rats. These little creatures whisper to one another, exchanging information about what is going on in the streets and basements from their point of view. Their mutterings are often cryptic, but often, uh, sometimes they can give useful clues. Okay, so that is what going to be the replacement today, for the heart. Little gutter friends. Gee, give me a reason not to kick you across the ocean. <laughs> Okay, does that mean that this makes it a bit sound like they have a sort of hive mind, maybe? I just noticed something with the rats here. They mm -hmm. don't, don't look like normal rats in our world, if you look at the snout. We've yeah. already established that whales look like they were mixed with sharks. Do you expect the rats to be rats? Um... Okay, I don't think we're going to get any useful things out of them, at least. Uh, and about, about way making mix the shark, they were not actually, I took a look at the teeth, and they're more mixed with the pre prehistoric cuts, and we had huge teeth on both, uh, on upper and lower jaw. Okay. I, I should probably look up a YouTube video about that damn thing, or it was a competitor with the Megalodon. Um, I have an idea, maybe, of what you mean. That like the what people thought the Loch Ness Lo the Loch Ness monster might be. Uh, no, not a Basilosaurus. I'm talking about the. It's uh, it's name of the mythical creature. It's called the Leviathan. All right, the old old park of baths shouldn't be far. Okay. Hey, look, they're looking for you. It's not yeah. quite the old life, but it feels good. I wonder if Dowd has seen these. Hmm. Let's see, some obstacles that block your path are breakable. Okay. Trust Michaels with your treasures. Trustworthy secure. No. Pardon. Not sure what's going on at with this. Let's see. Trustworthy secure private vaults for elite patrons. Um, Michael's Bank is Karnaka's premier valuable, uh, valuables depository. Our banks feature the latest uh, safeguards, wired uh, alarms, electrified floors, and uh, alert sentinels. Elite patrons may uh, reserve security boxes within our private vaults by arrangement with the director. Reservations are limited. Okay. Then we have a champion challenge. Test your metal in challenge brawl. Uh, wets, uh, match wits and fists with the merciless black... A magic Brute and other champions of the pit. Prize, one bone charm of powerful effect. Uh, rules are artifacts and bone charms must be disclosed before fighting. No forward until first blood. Last brawler standing up in uh, bright winds. Come early to train before the brawl. Pull the ill and strong spirits served ringside. Okay, sounds like we can enter an arena. And... Shan Yun. Private concert Private sold, concert out. sold out. Relax that yeah. the Lox, Gloria, and among the Ox uh, Raj Blooms. Among others are available for purchase on audiograph punch cards at Select Music Imperiums. 
Okay, so people actually use those things for music as well, which makes sense. The Eyeless are watching. Enjoy the most celebrated arias of the Boreal Songbird in the comfort of your home. Okay. And then some more that are blocked. I said something you could destroy something with your sword. Yeah, that. And I accidentally managed to click outside of the game for a second there. I'm not sure how I did that. Right. That's a bad use of a sword to break up planks. It's Ivan Jacobi, Administrator, Division of Bridges Road and Cemeteries, tonight speaking for the silence. Engraving disrespects the deceased and shame and the living, we know not the needs of the dead. Learn about Administrator Jacobi's campaign to repeal the reappropriation of abandoned burials and grave sites act at a public hearing in okay i wonder what that'll be all about oh, stealth oh we even have tutorial videos let's see see the toggle pressing alt okay peek over court oh all right so they they detach this from a uh, needing to be in co cover. Okay, we have a guard there. And there mm. a beach. Oh, no, there's a, there's a longer name. Oh. Hell, him. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we still we still want to confirm before we start doing that, considering... Yeah, we both know your blood first. Uh, if we do, if there is no, if there is no effect, uh, well, going wild, then we will go wild since we have held back for two whole games with this now. <laughs> it it probably would be a nice change of pace. I will admit that. Yeah. I saw a rat, but probably not enough to listen to. Okay, attack with your sword, left hand gadget or power. You can press and hold F to sheath. Okay. Captain says to find out what the Eyeless gang's doing inside the Albarca. I know what they're doing. That place reeks of black magic. You see the people who went in there? Go after them and they'll curse your cod with pus blisters. If you're lucky. Ah, you weak superstitions. Don't yeah, believe trust all that hocus pocus crap. A gang's a gang. Your cod with you worry pus more about a knife in the back than some curse. Your dick. If you say so, um, let's still wait for the reinforcements. Uh, okay, we got a Why? No, no, I regret asking. <laughs> A.K.A. what happens half the time when you ask things. Well, he's dead. Come on, just a simple hug. Now, you just come here. And, oh. I didn't notice he had a, uh, something. Mission orders from Captain Lejano. Uh, Lieutenant, I've received reports of illegal activity in the old Bar Albarca boss, and I suspect the Eyeless Gang is involved. This could be our chance to finally strike a blow against those degenerate rat eaters. Well, we know, at least there's probably people who are rat drinkers, because that's something you missed, Rom. Apparently there is uh, a bird distillery that makes r rat liquor, presumably with actual rats. Why? I want as well. I want you to scout the area with your squad and gather as much information as you can before then, but don't take any risks. The dockyard district will send reinforcements for a raid momentarily. Okay. Well, um... Okay, I don't think the foot is supposed to go in there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Is that man crippled for life, or he's gonna have a fun time getting that foot out of his ass? <laughs> no, no, not from his ass, from his spine. <laughs> uh, That's probably more him. painful. What the heck? Yeah, here's the rat liquor. You can see rats in the liquor, presumably. <laughs> See, bosses beware, I... when we're screwed, we multiply. Oh, gods. 
like, I have a theory why why the developers uh, did the rat picker. Because I, rats are kind of very stick. Have a, have, a have a tank to it? No, no, I, I think they want to... They want to challenge Swedes since uh, our old food tradition were Zustroming, uh, fermented, the fermented herring. Right, I, I, I never tasted that, but I've seen videos of it, and boy, that that stuff has a strong smell. Yeah, I yeah, you're want supposed to, be to open it. on the running water, but yeah, it, for people to wondering, it's a dying tradition. There are extremely few people. I, I have packed up some of them in a store I used to work in. And the selection is small. So, it's not a large demand on them. Do I suspect there's, they are more... Half eat them and half use them to challenge people. Okay, I think that was reference to Dunwell, the, the, the rat playing. Anything else? Okay. Yeah, it's still a bit of a crap sack world, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a rat catcher slash killer, I'm guessing. Anyways. Or, uh, it might be you habits. in all the games. Some of it's strange. None of it but good. The eyeless are watching. Electrical burst? The heck is that? I pick on the diction. How are the eyeless watching? Let's see. Ground guard is aware of illegal activity. Guards are waiting for reinforcements to bring a invest uh, begin an investigation. We found something earlier, not here. Uh, we got it. We missed a Mark IV tutorial on it. Uh, it's still here. Okay. Voltaic gun. The voltaic gun uses electromagnetic acceleration to fire both lethal and non-lethal ammo. Uh, pro uh, projectiles create noise and impact, but the blast of the voltaic gun itself is muffled. You can operate the voltaic gun uh, to perform charge shots. Hold uh, left uh, to charge and release the fire for greater damage and varying effects based on ammo type. Okay, so yeah, we don't have, have a crossbow, a... but we have a pistol. We have a rail gun. Yeah, yeah, I was just to say that. <laughs> I was trying to say that, brother. They yes. have invented a miniature railgun. Characters in neutral areas won't attack you as long as you're not aggressive to them. Okay, best put that away then. Okay, no. Carcofini. We've seen this before. Yeah, that's a, a sort of dental drink or something. Proud to use. For Fini, uh, toothpaste, they uh, have yeah, toothpaste. The only genuine toothpaste made in Karnaka for over 20 years. Buy, buy a small pot and try it yourself. All chemists agree it's the best. <laughs> and I think I commented there before on that whole 9 out of 10 the dentists agree uh, stuff. What they agree on is that you should brush your freaking teeth. One by one? You bet. Yep. And the best one is usually the one pulling out your teeth after they rot it away. Okay, play your way number one. The detection isn't the end. Even after you are spotted by enemies, uh, various. Uh, getting a bit of feedback, Rum. Uh, uh, <laughs> kill all the enemies in combat, defeat the enemies non lethally, escape and stay out of sight until the enemy gives up searching for you. Use powers, gadgets, and trickery to creatively overcome the situation. Play the tutorial video. <laughs> Too late. Uh, we can probably yeah, look right. it up here. Let's see. Combat, no. Yeah, you play play them. Okay, let, let's have a look. Okay, I was expecting that to be voiced. 
there's no set play style or correct way to play. Oh, hello. Picture of the outsider. Sneak, fight, and explore to accomplish your okay. yeah. objectives. Play at your own pace. Experiment with characters, environments, and various tools at your disposal. Improvise, create your approach, and see the results of your actions. You always have the choice to kill or spare. And that's one of those weapon locks that we never saw in the game happen ourselves. That, okay, it was half the mini ever was. A good assassin is adaptable. Hide or flee the area until things cool down. If you're having trouble with a particular challenge, think of another way to approach it. Yeah, like simply knocking him the fuck out. <laughs> oh god, he's twitching. The game is too easy, tweak the custom difficulty sliders to your liking. Yeah, that was something we didn't really mention in Dishonored uh, 2. But I, I, I like it when games allow you to customize your difficulty. Gets the juices flowing through your veins, keeps your head clear for the fight. Reckon I should get one? No, no, no! Don't waste coin on Duff's whalebone gugas. They don't do squat. Want your vitals stirred? Get some scarlet nightshade ointment. Rub it on your chest before the match. You'll what? see. Scarlet nightshade? I tried black nightshade elixir once. Supposed to put strength in your swing. Rubbed it on and lost all feeling from the neck down for a fortnight. Numb as a dead card. Couldn't walk, couldn't stand, couldn't piss without Gretchen's help. Nah. I'll stick to Duffy's bone charms. Well, do what your gut says. But trust me, when you're getting carved up like a screaming piglet in the ring, you'll wish you'd tried my ointment. Is that one of the witches? Who or knows? Oh, yes, yeah, she has one of the blades. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, she might not be able to use magic anymore, but she could still use uh, some magical uh, alchemy. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, knowledge isn't lost. Oh, and wait, also are. another thing. Kill her! Yeah. I think that's probably gonna be Rome's catchphrase. Yeah, yeah. It has always been for us. Yeah. Basically, kill them! Kill them! For a moment, I thought that thing was pointing up nor uh, up <laughs> towards the sky. Maybe I, should have I don't think well, that's how... A yeah, that's not how windmills work. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's supposed to fe Dude, if you have something that's festering, you might want to see a doctor. Yeah. Okay, what have we here? Enemy awareness. Oh, oh, come on, I've forgotten that. Yeah, one thing they changed in this game is that if you if you press the left button or the powers button, oh, hello, uh, there goes the dog. it doesn't ready, oh, hello, it doesn't ready the attack, it just automatically starts it. Yeah. Oh dear. Whisper from the Void by Bernali Milani. Treatise on the physical existence of that foreign realm. Da -da -da. Hmm. The Abbey of the Everman condemns any continued study into the void and existence and, and its existence. But consider, if you will, the whales hauled daily into Dunwall's great slaughterhouses. Are they more or less frightening when dangle, <coughs> dangled from the butcher's hook? Is a thing rendered more mysterious, more dangerous, and more powerful? Yeah. Seems to be something up with my throat today. Uh, is it more powerful when it has been dissected, studied, and categorized? No, I see. Natural philosophy yet uh, may yet banish all uncertainties from the world and bring all that is feared beneath our knowing gaze. It is true that I am not a religious man, but one must respect the Abbey of the Everyman for its continued moral guidance of our great empire. Surely even the High Overseer himself would agree that a thorough investigation into the Void would yield knowledge which could be used towards better protection against its mal malignancies. We would be able to subject the Void to scrutiny rather than be subjected to its uh, insidious influences. Everything that is known can be brought into the natural order of the world. If the Abbey would allow it, I am sure we may one day tra traverse the Void safely. 
we may yet be free of the outsider's whispers if such a creature exists. And he has a point. That which is unknown yeah. is more fearful than which is, yeah, that which is known. Yeah, and they, the Abbey has done some technological research and they do uh, anti-magic boxes. Yeah. Which did not appear in the loss in the in game so far. Yeah, I, I think they kept those to done well, or they just didn't provide enough function to spread out. Yeah. We are early. Not much to see right now. Okay. Oh, she's an eyeless as well. Uh, oh. Could be a gimmick, but if they really do use magic, then I need to check it out. And so she, so she might not be powerless. Yeah, uh, it was said earlier that the the Lilas Coven have lost their powers. Outsiders' eyes, Dowd, they're making him fight. I have to get him out of there. Is that him? It was six. Look at you, trapped like a hound in the pits. Hoping your masters will throw you a bone shard. Is that Dowd? I can't tell to the ha to the. It says Dowd. Hmm, yes. Okay. And uh, that was a horrible pun. Okay. Um, I very much doubt that we can just jump into this. Whatever, whatever is this? Is that electric fight? Yeah, I don't think you should stand on it. Uh, well, nothing what? is happening, so it can be. Don't you roll in sardine paste and swim through hagfish waters instead? It's a less painful death. Well, you think I can't take him? I can hold my own in the ring. I knight bigger blighters than him when I was a Bottle Street runner. And for less coin than I'll make when I win this match. You won't win. The brute cheats the eye with his speed. His moves are a blur. It's unnatural. Trust me, you won't land a blow. Well, nobody's that fast. Sounds like someone who can use stop time, or bend time at least. Now, so there's a bone oh, shimmer that we missed. Hmm. We used to train this on place really pulls in coin. I'm a professional now. Never tried this rat drink before. What's it taste like? You've had worse things in your mouth. It's the smell you gotta worry about. Like a rotting corpse in a sewer. One small whiff, and you'll puke yourself inside out. Yeah. Think I'll stick to whiskey. Whiskey's a cheap parlor trick. Any street sock can swill a bottle and get so betwaddled he thinks he's Duke Bell. Rat spirit takes nerve. It shrivels the marrow in cowards' bones, but stand fast. And the spirit shows you an eyeful of the void, worth every stinking drop. Uh, yeah, I just stick with the normal stuff, anyways. Label of yeah. authenticity. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure they put that up as a joke or something, <laughs> because I don't think anyone would want to export this sort of stuff. Yeah. This bar is my place, not yours. Get out. And okay. why are you home with a pickaxe? Uh, as a gang, you'll take any weapon. Uh, please take it. Oh, come on. Look by the chair. Yeah. Brave the sensation. Plagued spirit. Distilled bull rat liquor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Uh... So much. Delilah gone. The coven smashed. Yeah, there's a few people here that more a few more people here than I'd be. Yeah, you know, I could probably grab her, but that would set everyone off. But there's a few more people here than I think we can easily take on here. So let's just keep exploring hey. for the moment. I before we jump down to the sponge. Yeah, it was a sponge, I think. Alright, so we can't eat it. Last night's taking the safe soon. Coins are overflowing the till. Where is this bone chum then? Normally they make noise as well. Can we just drop down in here? Up 
New agility right off and swing mm -hmm. a hard left jab. Works like Root power shot. suppressor. Do not touch. I don't know how this thing works, but it keeps the brute under control and in the pit. Have your fun, but watch out. When I've got my money's worth, our leaders will want to eyeball him. We were lucky to find such a vicious cur for our studies. You've seen him fight. If he gets out, he'll kill us all. So don't turn off the machine. This thing well, must be keeping Doubt's power suppressed. If I turn it locked. off, nothing could stop him. Okay, that explains why we did not get set for walking on it. Oi. Yeah. It's, it's not um, electricity. Yeah, I'm guessing it's using something similar to those uh, music boxes. And hmm. We'll need to find the key for it, though. Stealing the Bone Charm Reward. I poked around and found that big reward Bone Charm stashed upstairs in a workshop. Stealing it is your problem, but take my advice. If you can't handle the brute without some powerful Bone Charm, you'd best not mess with uh, Jeanette G Lee and her goons. Okay, is that the leader? Hmm. Maybe? Yes, those are... Oh. Those are document holders, and I'm guessing the the right one, the, the tube. So many mm. people trying to get away from Garnaka now. But where are you gonna go? There's money here, even if it's dirty. I will need to find a way to get up. And those look a bit out of reach, and we don't have any runes to buy powers with. We can even buy powers, and hello. Star tables. I wanted to make something to soothe their teething pains. They were crying so much, breaking my heart. But I guess I got the dosage wrong, because all their teeth fell out overnight. Oh boy. Well, I guess at least they don't cry anymore. Nope. But the best part is that I got two dozen good baby teeth in the process. Grind them into a paste under a full moon, and you can use it to harden the bones in your hands. Huh. You find a recipe like that very exotic i learned a lot at the conservatory back when i was with ashworth i miss those days yes. let's just back away is there a way we can sneak over uh, let's make sure we protect romfa i don't know what he can do with a person who has a headache in here so hugs knock out oh, we immediately get the document uh, leaving the eyeless for winner down Eleanor I'm uh, shoving at uh, is <clears throat> I'm shoving off as soon as I get coin enough for a ship to win my heart soured uh, on this place after the brute killed poor Marty last month. I'll never uh, forget how the crowd laughed when he gutted her. Pricks, not the time to move on. No, it's time to move on. Lania says she can get me honest work with the Winnedow guard. I'd rather look a fool in that uniform than stay here and see the black arts marked. Jeanette said our orders came from a higher power. The islands were, are, were privy to big secrets, he said. What a laugh. Nary one of these fools can craft a proper bone charm or rotting ointment. All they do is guzzle rat liquor and puke and brawl like babes. Uh, <clears throat> I won't miss any of them. You're my only friend here now that Maori's gone, so I wanted to say farewell. Come see me in Winnedow if you can. Moreno. Or Mare Morena? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Morena. at least one of the witches ran off already. Cool. Kill her! <laughs> I love her. Okay, did she have... Okay, see... Did she have the key or is this blocked from the other... S yeah, it says blocked, so I'm guessing we can't open it, so this must be a shortcut back. Yeah. Hmm. So you knocked her out for absolutely no reason. Well, we did well, get did a we? bit of lore. Not much of lore, but still. Yeah, and also insight of what's going on here. Also, what somebody noticed the unconscious body? Uh, if someone uh, walks in there. 
It is Which probably, it's probably a good idea to grab her the moment she walks away. Uh, let's bring you over to see your friend. And there's rats here. Maybe they'll have, hey, they'll have something to whisper. Uh, I realize there's a container nearby you can hide them in. The outdoors. On to the left. Oh, here. Uh, I would need to walk around here with them in sight. So let's not oh. for now. Yeah, I forgot that little detail. Uh, let's see. Now, what where's the, those what's rats? Those, what's written on the wall there? To your right. See you in the void, suckers. <laughs> Wait, is that a oh. corpse? Uh, no, uh, this those are several dark. corpses, Helian. Yeah. Okay. You'd think someone have cleaned those up by now. Maybe we could just drop the uh, the sleeping bodies on top of them. Oh wait, no, they probably cremate them by mistake. Yeah, just short. Okay. It is, this looks like an open window to me. So is there anything we can move to act as a box or something? Charms, crafts, equip. Hmm. Let's take a let's move back a bit and see if we can find that other bone charm that was here. And there's also this here. Oh we okay, we can actually open that. Maybe no uh, no I I very much doubt that we can get from there to there. <laughs> because we certainly don't have the the, the jumping rates for that. Bone charm nearby. Where is it then? We don't have. We can't use that rat heart thing or something to look nearby. Hmm. But there are some rats to ask. Okay, now it stopped showing the notes. Uh, what if we move away and back again? Neutron territory? Okay. Mm. Okay, where is this thing? Okay, <laughs> don't think we want to get too close to that. Kill all the whales. Uh, uh, could it be... Okay, it could be in there. Yes. Okay, I think it's in there. And we already cleared out the dogs from there, so we can just jump on down. And yeah, maybe I should up the <laughs> up the brightness a bit. So options, visuals, brightness, and let's up that a bit. Yes. Okay. Now where could this bone charm be then? Or is it really somewhere in here? Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting confused as to where it might actually be. Uh, so a book as well there. Yeah, it, it must be somewhere over there. Is it under the stairs or something? And impressive that Billy can squeeze herself underneath this. <laughs> well, she is rather really thin. Yeah, again. I guess she's flexible. Well, there have been a few minutes. I must just say. Every woman in this game seems rather thin compared to uh, 
the men here already come the all shaped in sizes. And I think I get it now, it's in there probably. Okay. Cool, break the lock. Actually, how can we get in there? These are barred. I very much doubt that there'll be an entrance in the floor, but there is a window over there. Um, if we move back enough... Is there a window? There is there. Okay. So, can we get to that? Don't you have a power or something? Nope. We have... We start off with nothing. Well, it was your eye. Okay. Here we, there we go. Let's see. Bone charms provide supernatural benefits, traits, upgrading your prowess or powers, and even adding entirely new abilities. Corrupt and black bone charms are rarer and more powerful, offering more ecstatic traits. But corrupt bone charms are unstable and also possess negative traits. Locate bone charms by using foresight to see them through walls or buy them at the black market shop. By default, you can activate up to five bone charms at once in the journal. Okay, so we are getting fight. We are getting more powers. Oh. Otherwise, the game would be rather boring without them. Let's see. We'll be rich. We've been here just a month, and I'm making coin over uh, coin hand over fist. It's a dream come true. Sure, it costs to keep that suppressor running, but it's paid for itself ten times over. Everyone wants to try to fight the brute, and all the new folks coming, <clears throat> all the new folks coming in because they heard. We can do a bit of magic, thinking they're the one who'll break the brute's record. Huh. They'll pay for it in coin and teeth. Better them than me. I could kiss the one who uh, led us here to, and to that magnificent bastard. Okay. Typewriter. Let's see. Prize, one bone charm. Uh, rules. Arl artifacts, we already saw that. Ranking, the black magic brutes. Win. 73 matches, 4 of its 0. Jerry the Reaper, 22 to 5. Stout William, 16 to 7. And the Cutter, 10 to 2. I think it says okay. Jenny, not Jerry. Or does it? Oh, yeah, that's Jenny the Cutter. Jenny. No, that's. Wait, no, re no, look again. That's Jenny the Reaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's just take a look at our prize. Let's see, our first bone charm is Healthy Appetite. Okay, that's a pretty common one. But it will heal us more, and hello. They saw us the red one. one. Uh, what? Right, this is there. Just try 451. Let's see if that actually works. Yeah, one was already. Uh, also, in the. <laughs> In that uh, apartment where we tried that, it was actually underneath the painting that the code was there. Yeah, why the fuck not? <laughs> okay, let's take that and that and just all of this. It worked! Wait, is it the same person? Uh, yeah. Um, have you told Rob what happened last time? When you wrote that uh, save? For the last time? Uh, yeah, we went back to that uh, <laughs> department we robbed that first uh, place in, and uh, the guy had rigged it up with traps. <laughs> and a very uh, wordy thank you but fuck off note in this safe as well. <laughs> of course. Okay, but seriously, yeah, where would it, that code have been here? He basically said the city is cursed, that he is moving away for apparently. Yeah, he apparently, basically, he's unaware that Corvo and Emily has been robbing him all the, this time. Let's Fuck see. this! I'm going to the continent. <laughs> <laughs> basically, okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing where it could be hidden. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, wait, I just realized of a we saw a bird in there. Uh, a stuffed or carved one. Hmm. Okay. Interesting looking. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it can if you want to kill us, but it might actually kill us. It probably yeah, it uses like skin someone... as an act. It looked like it, it looks like someone fed a robin steroids. Uh, what? Uh, anyway, Go anyway. away! I need to prepare for my oh, fight. <laughs> Okay, is there really nothing else here? We, I guess we could try stacking up the bodies over uh, here to use them as a springboard. <laughs> but, uh, let's not. What the? You just noticed there's blood on the stairs. Yeah. And, oh, come on, this is closed. I thought it was open as a way to sneak around, but no. Uh, it would make sense for them to keep that closed. They don't want to listen to me. Next time... I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Let's actually do a bit of a save here and jump in to see what that happens with that. Uh oh. Well there. If you wanna fight him, you gotta wait your turn. Do you want to die? Yeah, that's Dowd. <laughs> that's his voice. Okay. <sighs> hmm. We're going to need that key, but it's going to be somewhere. It's probably the ringleader probably has it. Hmm. We're playing dice tonight. You win. Yeah, is there a way to do this more sneakily? Like the best I can think of at the moment is to stand ah, here. Ah, yeah, that's here again. Sure, the wind opened that door. Sure. And that set everyone up because they know. Focus strike. You Kill them all! Kill them all! Kill them all! <laughs> Is someone there? Yep. <laughs> okay, so that doesn't work. Oh! Yeah, I think they actually cleaved uh, your head there, like the immature there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just leave that be then. Can we bribe you or you something? Want? This area is not for clients. Hmm. Yeah, that... yeah, yeah, trying... <laughs> I didn't see that it was a I thought it was a typewriter or something. <laughs> you might want to heal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Where is she hiding? Find anything? Oh. One of the one jackass almost spots it, and there we go again. Come on, stuck under the freaking lamp. Ah, uh, they're hitting you. Yep. <laughs> and now it's just a shooting gallery. Might want to sneak. Oh. Okay, how yeah, how the hell are we supposed to sneak in there though? I think we just had a good representation there of uh, how of how many people are being wanted to throw stuff at Helium for making bad puns. <laughs> okay, but seriously, how do I knock him out? Can we reach this here? Yeah, just freaking short. Well, you just have to grow a few inches then. Oh, wait. Do I have any teleportation ability? No, we don't have any abilities yet. Which mm. makes this annoying. Mm. Because, yeah, we don't have the outsider's mark, and hello. <laughs> oh, oh, and I accidentally jump on top of one of them and take them all off again. 
Um, on, I wanted to go through the window. Oh, help. Heal. He gets blocked. Heal. Now, are you? What? I'm the first one. Yeah, at the moment, I'm mostly just looking around for stuff to get around, even. Let's see. Then. Good. Are we really? It's blocked by a latch. Can I? Can we break? Actually, it is already broken. Hmm. Oh, hello there. There we. There we go. Now we're up. And now it's hostile territory. Oh, hello. No, I'm not underneath. Last resistance. Let's what? Take less damage from explosions. Okay. Uh, okay. Charm Carver's Diary. And that's a, <laughs> It's a title with this, but it, it would make for quite a name as well. Charm Carver. Let's see, Eighth of Songs. A charm carver will never starve, my mother used to say. Always coin to be made by selling wishes and wants to folks who don't come by much That's of either in their day-to-day. -day. Well, I'm hungry and this piece has yeah, sort of rotted bone and hasn't helped me get out of the way... Uh, get, <clears throat> get out of the way of the overseers. Don't know who I pissed off, but someone must have slipped in my name. If those witch hunters catch me with my mother's carved bit of whalebone, it'll be a slow death. Outside of ours, I'm in it now. The twelfth... Managed to palm off two useless bits of bone to a sailor stinking like whisk. Couldn't tell his right from his left or a real charm from a fake one. Coins should get me uh, through the week at least. Overseer still two steps behind me, going mad looking over my shoulder all the time. Then the 22nd. Finally found a safe spot. Full belly too. Now I get a yeah, different hunger. My sweet singing bone charm round my neck again. And wet whale bone in my hands. Uh, this, uh, this one will carve up nice. Not as strong as some, but still good. Went too long without, uh, wanted just as much as the bones now. Okay. Let's turn that off. Make ourselves a passage. Mm, let's see. Heard of rats. Now they're repeating old ones. Okay. So can we steal this? Compared to earlier business, it makes me wonder if they ate a baby or plan to eat one. Uh, I think it was probably more a child, but still. Yeah. Yes. Where am I gonna get that? Anyone here? Doesn't look it. Oh, and we also found their power generation. Once knew a kid who said his bone charm would make bullets bounce off his skin. He shot himself in the stomach and died a day later. Uh, hey, don't be stupid with stuff like that. Our first black bone charm agility. Oh, okay, this acts instead of the power agility. Where it gives the same effects. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so now we already have our double jump. Yeah. You almost hit the roof. Book mine. Let's see. Book mines can be placed or thrown onto any surface by pressing. Once triggered, a hook mine will grab an enemy or object within range, dragging him towards the mine. Hold to toggle hook mine lethality. Okay, so it's both lethal and non lethal. A non-lethal mine will stun an enemy, and a lethal mine will kill them. Enemies or objects snagged by hook mines can be released by striking them with your sword, a projectile, or a thrown object. Okay, you could probably have some fun with those things. Hook ma- what? 
need the brute reward. Don't know what we did right, but we crafted a mighty powerful bone charm this time. Jeanette's, uh, Janet says it's the reward for beating the brute, so spread the word. Well, we've already won it <laughs> by just sneaking around and, well, getting killed a bunch of times. Okay. I think you just found your way to sneak in. Yeah. Let's see. There's a witch there. Is there anyone else here? I think this is actually the longest that we've gone without any powers to help, especially dark vision. Where it's uh, alt alternate. Good steps. Knock knock. Ow! Okay. They saw yeah, you. My... Yeah, they heard me. They heard someone they running red. around where nobody should be. So, yeah, we don't know if they'll be you know, probably headed up here, but if they'll come all the way up here, that is the question. Have you heard them? I think Hello. they're not coming. Letters are all my. They're all my. Her last letter tore my heart out, with you begging me to quit the eyeless gang and come home. Whatever gruesome tales you heard, the eyeless aren't bloodthirsty brutes like hatters or howlers. They know things, secret things. They're teaching me how to make medicines and brew potions, and even carve my own bone charms for the occult boxing fights. If I keep burning matches, I'll catch uh, Janet's, uh, Janet Lee's eye. She's the boss here at the Albarca. If I work for her, the coin will come rolling in. More than I ever made toiling on the docks. Sad news about Graham's fever. I can't spare any coin, but here's some dried raven beak for a pot notice. Boil it down with gerro root in a cover pot and spread it thick on Graham's chest. She'll be right as uh, Crystal Rain in no time. Her brother Rory. Okay. Yeah, not everyone joins a gang just for the violence and shots. A lot of times people turn to crime because they simply can't make money to make ends meet. Yeah, I'm really sad. Uh, hello. Um, our dead overseer. Two dead overseers. Okay. Eight, five. What is this? Can I take it? Is that Can the... Eat it? Is that the hook mine? It looks a bit like it. I think that's the hook line design. Wait, 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 wait. It, the initial... Uh, HM. We can say that of that. Yeah. One. Where did I read? Let's see. About the hook mines, Stefan. What do they tell you? Glad we stole those blueprints last month. I'm sure, those parts were hard to find, but these hook mines are already making themselves useful. Snatched up an overseer trying to sneak in here. Wish I could have seen what his face looked like under that mask when the hook got in him and dragged him up. Would have uh, paid a lot of coin to see that. Okay, so we can put him on the ceiling as well. Uh, but someone in this district is telling tales about us to the Abbey of the Everman. Those witch hunters won't show mercy if they find out what we're doing here. Best find out uh, which of our neighbors has a loose tongue. See if they can still snitch without it, and keep the tongue, we can use that. In the meantime, throw a rock or a rat up, uh, uh, up at this fool, see if you can make him twitch. I'll get more hook mines uh, made as soon as I can. Arabella. Uh, no way. Yeah. By the way, look at the blueprint again. <clears throat> yeah, HM. Yeah, that should be a dead giveaway, along with the note you just read. Um, it's not Sokolov, and it is not Jindosh. It hook HM hook mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that I was more thinking about uh, creators hey, initials. Let's oh see. dear. For now, though, we saw that something was in here. Okay. Oh, hello. There's that. There's that hook. Yeah, that one found that we were <laughs> tossed to kill. Here's not as of a. The rats and dogs look strangely familiar, similar to each other. 
You don't have to say gnosis. Snipe the dog and hide. Uh, first, I'm going to sneak in, peek in here. and they savage anything that moves, friend or foe. Found an old beggar to train him. Boots ripped him to meat goblins in a blink. Good. We want them vicious. Find some more beggars to train them on. But keep a watchful eye when you're dumping the bodies next time. You don't need the guards sniffing around here again. Okay. Oh. All the better than I say that uh, there doesn't seem to be a chaos system. So... Yeah, do we have a shot on the yeah, door? Like... Next time I'll try it with a waxing gibbous. And if that doesn't do it, then I've got no idea how to fix it. Drive the dog first, then go for the door. Uh, yeah, that will, that will set her off a bit too much, but I, my thinking was to try and set the dogs loose on her. Ah, uh, yeah, the yeah, irony. Okay, so it's Earth. more this way. Oh, hello. About electrical burst. Janet, remember those old wall of light parts we found near the dockyards? Well, I found a way to make use of them. Turns out there's a part in them that powers the whole thing. So I took it out of, uh, so I took it out of all the rusty coils, and now we've got these little you know, things to stun folks if they get out of hand. I call them electrical burst. You're welcome. I've already seen folks sling them at rats to keep them out of the storerooms. But it makes them tense up and ruins the meat. Uh, can't even make liquor from them when they're like that. Uh, better to use them on the uh, larger vermin, you get me? Uh, one last thing, do not touch the tip. And by the outside, I do not lick it. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to make that clear. But Lacey did it on a bat, and it took hours to wake her up. And now she's got no eyebrows. Not from the electricity, just because someone shaved them off when she was out cold. But we told her it was the electricity. Leon. <laughs> Come on! Uh, dumb thugs be dumb thugs. And we're following them, it seems. And where's this freaking chart? Uh, bone charm. I think there's a leak. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay, um. Did you almost get caught? Yeah, he almost got caught. And wait, if there's so much water on the floor, and you have electric darts, hmm. zap. Uh, yeah, they have, have no to... shoes. <laughs> they walk in bare feet. No, they do have shoes. Oh. Still. Okay, one is leaving, another is coming. Or was. Really, are you I... seeing my shoes or something? I can just get through this shift, then I can go and have a mark or something at the pub. I think there's something I... wrong with that uh, NBC. Yeah, he's. Oh, uh, I, I think he's practicing on the Stairmaster uh, Medieval Edition. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he seems to just be content standing there, or rather stepping there. Okay. So I just gotta keep an eye out. Now let's see. Now of course it's blocked. Break the window? Uh, I think these people will hear that. Yeah, and you can hide yourself though. Uh... You gotta keep an eye out for any people peeking in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a lock or something to shoot out here. So yeah, I guess we should just Puts uh, Milky out of his misery. Let's see. 
normal shots. No, all right. It doesn't give. Uh, it doesn't set off sound, but the impact does. No. Is he coming in, or is he? He is it. Yes, he saw the. She sees the dead dog. All right, let's kill the, all the dogs, perhaps. Okay, let's have a little another look at our stuff here. Steal the device key. And guard reinforcements. Waiting for maybe we could. Hmm. Maybe there is some way to get those guards here to start their raid. Hmm. But for that, we probably hey, need to check travel your, back. Uh, contract. Let's see, if we fulfilled that one. Yeah, burn the white, or we need to burn the body still. And yeah, da -da -da. make potions and bone charms upstairs. Their liquor is vile, but it sells for good coin. Uh, bring us the recipe and make sure to destroy their stock. So, get the flame store. There's a flame brewer? No, but I can assume there's probably Molotovs. I mean, those are easy to make. Okay, but yeah, we should kill the dogs for... We can't sneak in without them noticing us. Yeah, the dogs are locked up. So that isn't much of a problem. Um... She was over there a bit ago, so if she walks over there again, we take out this guy, we stun her, and so yeah, we get the key. Trying to get away from Karnaka now. But where are you gonna go? Don't forget you have money bullets, here. not Even if stun it's shots. Yeah. Is she going to move at all? I, hmm. Just shoot her. Actually, the impacts make sounds. So if I sh okay, that sounded like I was getting spotted. <coughs> or okay, is she going to move yep. in the wrong direction? Okay, in a decent direction. I didn't like that. Watch out, intruder! Kill her! Okay. Yeah, that's a poker! But a, a, a burster thingy! Okay, didn't go exactly as planned, but still, the end result is similar enough. And that didn't set off the rest of the people. Smoothly. Okay. Uses for hack pearls. Clarice, here's what you asked for. Weren't too hard to find, but you know they're not real pearls, right? Six years at sea should have taught us, you know, should have taught you that. Uh, Hagfish spit them up when they eat something bad. Red falls in their mouth, and uh, two weeks later, a bunch of these come out, waxing and full of little waxy and full of little bones, or they swallow up the silver teeth of a dead man's ha head and it makes them too heavy to swim right. Either way, it uh, means they shove the, uh, these things out one end or another, probably why they smell terrible, uh, awfully. So basically, hairballs for a fish. Cool. Uh, when they dry out, they turn stiff, and I've seen street uh, kids uh, pitch them at folks with slings. But dock workers say they're unlucky, cut open a hagfish belly, and a bunch of these pour out. You know, you'd better take care. Her grand used to collect them, had a string of them around her wrist, and when and she wanted someone's luck to turn, she'd whisper their name to it and slip it in their pocket. Worked half the time, at least. Um, might help you out someday. Who knows? Just don't eat one. Visit again soon. Aunt Flora. Okay. Why would you eat one? And another bone charm. Let's see. Power Slash. Yeah, we're so I'll take a slower. Let's put it on for now since we have the space. And oh, okay. Maybe if we maybe if we shot the button, it would have opened this up and started the fight between them. 
We now go... Do we have anything to burn the body with? Uh, wait. There's booze on the table. It's, uh, I don't think just whiskey glasses will work. Yeah, but there's, there. there's a cigarette. There's other bottles around. There, empty. See, I just got potential. Anyone who has spent time on the water knows what these are. Lucky Charms, Scrimshaw, Ritzcraft if you want. Whatever you call them, these fancy bits of bone can be worth a fortune if they make good on their promises. Uh, sometimes you'll find one on a dead howler or grizzler, some lifeless bootlickers, last hope in a fight. You never find one on a dead eyeless. You know why? Because the eyeless make good on their promises. We know things the Abbey don't want you to know. Uh, not just a bomb to clear the rash you, uh, the rash you got in an alley, uh, but how to scratch up a bit of whalebone so you don't feel pain in a fist fight. How to make even the most sharp-eyed guard miss you in the streets. Uh, <clears throat> even how to get the outsider's ear and ask him a thing or two. You won't believe what that we can do uh, until you see it yourself. Until you see all those dead howlers at your feet and hold a bit of, of lucky bone to thank Nag for it. All it takes is some ink under the skin and a couple of sleepless nights and this city could be yours. Hmm. Now they aren't fully lying. Though I very much doubt that most wait, of the wait, bone chunks they wait. make aren't worth anything. I think I saw a, a, a bottle there. Oh, there's an... Oh, that one's empty. But this... Oh, there we is go. Is that one empty? Oh, yes. Highly flammable liquor. So First though, we let's deal get... with these two. <laughs> and... Exit what? stage oh, right. Alive. The other one. Wait, how the fuck are you alive? I, I hit it in the shoulder more, I think. Okay, put you down here. Dapper. Okay, Wolf. I hope she... Eh, brother. They look like the rats, oddly enough. Uh, don't tell me rats and dogs are a related species here. Could be. There we go. Sweet, we got paid. Uh, well, we're getting paid once we're back with that. Yeah, from that. Now, though, let's. See. Okay, we can sneak out down here. Grab ourselves some extra coin. Try to avoid stepping into freaking bugs. Still, all I've got now. Okay. And that's how we do it, mostly stealthily. So, uh, nice knowing all of you. Down. Lurk. Hey, Dowd. I knew you'd seek me out one day. I didn't think it would be like this. You were hard to find. How did you end up here? You look like shit. Well, let's talk somewhere else. The Eyeless have more secrets than you know. I've got a ship. Or what's left of it. The Dreadful Whale. It's docked below the Akintila repair station. Dowd, I... Say whatever you want to say, Billy. That you're here now is enough. I need your help. Like old times? Those days are gone. This is something bigger. One last job. I can do it. Who's the Mark? The one responsible for it all. The cults. The black magic. This mark on my hand. We're gonna kill the black-eyed bastard himself. What? The... You want to kill the outsider? You want to kill God? Apparently, Dowd has left the ideals. I finally find him, and the old man's got me jumping right back into this occult shit. <laughs> Dowd can explain himself back on the dreadful whale. Nope, uh, I'll just take that, thank you. Did they, did they knock themselves out trying to get out? Apparently. Let's see, dropped off bats at your place, Robbie. I dropped the bedding coin in the safe and hit uh, your apartment key in the bucket by the door. Like you said, you're, you're all set. You owe me two bottles rats uh, for helping you this time, Elira. 
P.S. If you forget the combination again, tally the books over your desk. Maybe uh, they'll uncover your memory. Okay, so that's how we would have found that uh, code. Ronaldo. Okay. Apparently it's so bad that even just smashing it gets you drunk. Um, um, yeah, but well, where's the recipe? Probably upstairs somewhere, so let's show the marker for that. Yeah, that way. Okay, now that the place is cleared out. Wait, did, did he knock all of them out or something in that split second? Apparently. Or Either that or everybody just them? tripped so hard they knocked themselves out. Uh, let's go with that one. Another bone turn? Oh, here it is. Corrupt one, Void Gambler. And you are... Major chance that power will use uh, uh, will consume no void energy. Significant chance that power you will drain additional void energy. Okay, so most of the time it'll lower the cost, but sometimes it'll suck us dry of void power. It's 50-50. Now I think it's more labeled than that, and yeah, this guy was still using the freaking stairmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, letter to a friend. Thomas, you don't know what uh, you're getting into with this black magic. It draws you in with some with harmless things like sailor's charms, but then see what horrors the eyeless make, make you do when you're too scared to leave. That's uh, that's what the outsider wants. Uh, you didn't know I had a brother, did you? When we were little, there was an old woman who lived by the dockyards. I said to run if she ever, uh, even, ever even looked at us, but we didn't listen. She was ugly as a hagfish, but she'd tell us all stories and said her black-eyed friend would visit if we were quiet. Then my brother went missing. We searched all over for him, but we found no trace. At night I went to the old woman, that witch, and she had something awful smelling in the pot she was stirring with all her strength. I asked if she'd seen him and she laughed, said yes and showed me. She'd cut my brother up to pieces, nothing but bones and red flesh, and a little scarf he always wore. She'd have grabbed me up too if I hadn't run to the overseers. Get out of this cult while you can, before you are gunning someone's son or daughter to get the outsider's attention. Adela. Yeah. I think they're pretty nice looking pickaxe. Yeah, it, but it's got, a, it's got a weird balance because somehow it hasn't slid down the stairs. They're probably too heavy. Okay, there's this there's door here that we haven't touched yet. Okay, so there was a note there. Oh. Okay, sounds like the guard is already here and... and he's already okay. grabbing the coin. Okay, seems to work. Oh, hello, that's Wait, a... What? Sarconin plantain? plantain? That's a banana. That's a banana. The faint plantain looks basically like bananas, actually. Okay. Workshop key. I just don't know what the taste is. Everybody just has doubts, like... Everybody just has, like, doubts out and just, like, bucket, and everybody just knocked themselves out. <laughs> those are some big Come coins. On. Come on, give me those. <laughs> Okay, there and there and there and there's also registered downstairs. Where's the yeah. the recipe should be here and I'm guessing they started the raids. Well, this is gonna be an awkward meeting. And as long I'm as they don't guessing. end up coming upstairs. Oh. Yeah, let's just keep that closed. <laughs> I think you must walk past something over there. On the table. It says it's upstairs. Uh, to your right? Right, so... Uh, right no. again. Okay, just some grapes. Oh. So, nothing to gripe about. Boo! Boo! Let's see. Don't ask for a, a gin sling. You don't know the proper drink. Here's the way we do it. Ask for our special homemade mulberry... Mead? Yeah, mead. Okay. Now, is that recipe somewhere here? Oh, hello. Lucky jam. And that is... Enemy pistols have a better chance of misfiring. Okay. Let's swap that out with power slash. 
Yeah, that Why? one actually sounds useful. Uh, plague spirit. Oh, that, that's the recipe. Uh, since we're trying to avoid uh, combat most of the time, and if we get into combat, we'll most likely be uh, <laughs> running away. Let's see. One grown bull rat alive. Three red potatoes. <sighs> three dops. Uh, wormwood oil. So basically, it's tomato sauce or tomato ale. Drain rat's tomato blood into large potatoes. cooking pots. Oh, ugh. why did I read it as tomato? <laughs> uh, potato, potato. Yeah, potato, tomato. <laughs> Let's see. Drain a rat's blood into large cooking pots and boil with potatoes on red hot stove. Uh, add wormwood when a mash forms. Uh, strain the brew into copper vats with the rat corpse. Swelter one uh, full moon cycle. Uh, strain into a bottle. Wear a mask or your puke. Seal the rat inside with the liquor. If uh, Janet sees you steal a snuff, it'll be hound's meat. Snuff? It's a squiff. A squiff? Uh, yeah, squiff. How did squiff did they get the rat in there? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing they do that too uh, as a sign of certification or something. Uh, Rom, some yeah. things are probably best left unanswered. For, yeah, I'm unsure how they fit a rat into the bottle as well. I, I don't want to die. A body. Here, don't Hi, boys. Bye, boys. I need to look for the greatest stash. Yep. <laughs> and that's how you quickly make a retreat. <laughs> and did you just destroy the stash? Uh. Oh yeah, correct actually. Um, we, we destroyed at least two of their uh, stuff. Uh, let's see, let's this see one. If, is, uh, if it's been fixed or not. Contracts. Contracts. Okay, yeah, but they only had two in stock. Okay. But maybe you did. Maybe you did accidentally hit the box next to the two bottles. Could be. For now, we're just like, taking off before we. <laughs> before we uh, draw any more to attention. And we're going to wash the stink of that stuff off us. Lethality, stealth, but nothing on chaos. Yeah. Okay, so we can just have all the fun we want with killing. Okay. Uh oh. Is this a Rome's dream come true? Yes. <laughs> we can now kill everyone. All right. Follow the ink. Doubt is determined to kill the outsider himself, and he needs your help to do so. When I first oh, caught sight of Doubt, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness. That the void is the source of doubt, heresy, and suffering. That the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows? Maybe they're right. The same dream. My arm hacked away. My eye hollow and burning. It still aches. Let's hope it's not some kind of omen. Let me tell you something about the void, Billy Lark. It touches the minds of the dreaming and the dying alike. Uh, and sometimes, dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? People usually want something from me. In the void? But you don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. Wait, what are you? 
The world was wounded around you. <gasps> and you carried the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you'll make them. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit! Shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Or doubt? What just happened? We got powers! The... This is a new serve the outside we've not seen before! Also, I'm pretty sure Billy technically counts as a Schrodinger's cat. Okay, I so, alright. Uh, I probably should have noted it earlier, but we were using both freaking hands. So I guess that does make it canon that Stilton was saved. Because, yeah, without... <clears throat> without Stilton being saved, uh, she'd still have half... Uh, only one arm and one eye. So those dreams that she was having were probably possibly uh, remnants or leakings from the timeline where she did lose them in a fight. Maybe. And yeah, now probably. the outsider has pushed us on a sort of middle road by changing our arm and changing probably our eye as well. Though why? I, I guess he's a bit pissed that uh, two humans want to kill him, and he probably could have just killed us outright. So the fuck is he up to now? Well, if you think about it, does it entire Abbey want to kill him? True. But I think Do Dowd and Billy are probably the first to actually have a chance at it. No. Is it strange? Like, usually we've seen how say he seems to be not what the Abbey says. This is probably the first time we see the Outsider be a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Let's see. Anything new on this? Nothing new. Deadly raid at the Albarca. A raid on the Al uh, ba Albarca baths turned deadly as guards fought for their lives against the notorious Eyeless Gang. The Albarca had been under surveillance for weeks after the guard received a tip about unsavory activities there. They rushed in to break up the fighting ring, but ended up in a lethal showdown with vicious gang members instead. It's a proud day. Thanks to the courage and diligence of my guards, Kanaka is a safer place. We removed dangerous villains from the streets and ended their illegal operations, said Captain, uh, Captain Edward... Edward... Edward uh, Leno. Okay, Leno, uh, leader of the raid. He reassured reporters that his guards sustained only minor injuries. No eyeless members survived. Okay, so we did not even everyone really while we were running us. away. Ha! Chaffers. Chaffers, that's a new one. What the heck does that mean? Uh, probably something like bastards and such, but yeah, th I guess that means that even if we had gone lethal, it wouldn't have helped much or changed how much. Let's see. At last, he's here on my ship, sleeping on Anthem's old cot. Uh, how long had he been down in that pit that the Obaka bots taunted like a hound until some fool thought he could take him on? They didn't even know he, who he was. The Eyeless called him the Black Magic Brute. Uh, there were more fi fighting names for him in Dunwall. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. I didn't know how he'd feel about me after what I did to him years ago. It was like I never, ne ne like I never left. Uh, we're right back in the middle of it, digging into some foul cult, chasing down some mad grudge. But he's older now, weaker. I need your help, he said, like I'd never uh, refuse. Well, uh, I didn't, did I? The Outsider. Mother tells tales about the outsider to children in cradles, filling their nights with fear, so they behave. For the Abbey, those stories never stop. Every sermon, every stricture, every damn piece of their litany is about the dangers of letting the outsider into your head. No doubt wants to kill him. No more stories, no more warnings. No more terrible people fighting over promises from the void. I don't know how Doubt got marked by the outsider. I don't know what he had to do or what he was like before he had his magic. But I remember the kind of man that it made him and what he did with that power. So maybe he's right. Okay. Restless night. I thought I'd sleep easy knowing Doug was safe. I don't know why I'm still so foolish. I can't catch a break for a moment, not even when I sleep. I should know that by now. 
This one was sharper than the rest. I could feel the blade bite into my skin when the damn guard got me. My right eye felt hollow, an empty hole in my head that I couldn't shut, and my right arm ended in you know, a broken piece of bone. It felt so deep yeah, this time. I woke up shaking. It took me a while to catch my breath. I've been having these dreams since I had Emily on the ship. Is this some kind of curse since I confessed to her? It would serve me right, I guess. But how long will this go on, and what other dreams may come? I could hear Doubt groaning in his sleep in the other room, saying my name. Maybe we're both dreaming our own penance. Okay. Oh, come on, Emily, you didn't take this thing with you. And again, it wasn't exactly hers. Okay. Yeah. And also, the quest name. Are we to follow your cat? No, not... Oh, hello. Well, that's new. What happened to you? The outsider did this. What did he say? I've had bad dreams for a while now. And he was never there. But I feel good. Strong. Like all those years ago when we ran together. He didn't offer me his mark. Just said some cryptic shit. And left me with this. I never knew what the black-eyed bastard wanted. Be careful. The outsider's gifts come with a price. You won't know until it's already been paid. <coughs> I didn't have much choice. Neither do I. My connection to the void is fading. We've got to act soon. Before it takes me forever. You found a way to do it. To kill the outsider. How? I spent years looking for an answer. I searched the aisles, tracked down a dozen crazy cults. But there's more to the Eyeless. They've got a relic, the knife that made the outsider. Thousands of years ago, it's here, in Karnaka. A knife. So you want me to steal it? Soon. First, we need to find out who leads the Eyeless and where they keep that knife. They're powerful people, wealthy or noble or both. I don't know their names, but they all have an esoteric tattoo that sets them apart. Those low-ranking thugs at the boxing club talked about getting inked in the Red Camellia in the Upper Syria district. I'll go there and see what I can find. Try to rest out. I couldn't do this on my own anymore, Billy. Thank you. Okay, I thought he, I thought we got pulled into the void again. Nah, so... the outsider just came in, just bamped in, take, took your arm and fucked up out of nowhere. The only other place where he could interact directly with the physical world was, well, in Stilton's right. manner. Oh, yeah. Now, at the shrines, he can more project himself, I think. He still just floats there like an, <laughs> a prick. It's been a long time since those days. Where did you find that? Oh. I haven't seen that face in years. They sprung up everywhere a few months after I left Dunwall. And you kept it all this time. I'd be more careful of nostalgia if I were you. Let's see. Going east. Thanks for loading us the skiff. We'll follow the coast east to uh, slip past the port guards. We Ruiz says the Aristos are gasping for Winnedown Caviar, so that's our cargo. We'll be back next week. I'll stow the boat at the waterlock in Upper Syria uh, <coughs> district, like we talked about. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. I know a sturdy skiff is worth its weight in coin these days. Marilon. Okay, what's that about? And we've already seen that one. Hmm. All our lives. The Abbey of the Everyman tells us to hate him. For once, they're right. So are we working for the Abbey now? They'd kill us as soon as him if they had the chance. No. The Abbey doesn't want our help. And we don't need it. Hmm. How'd they get this accurate uh, description of him? Or... Paint a dead close likeness. 
Good question. Uh, oh, That's I think that explains. My arm, my eye. It's just like the dreams. Well, reality is breaking apart. Explain it. Yeah, the dreadful whale has just become a weak point to the, uh, the void. Oh, uh, no, 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 Ilya, no, no, worse. It said it's spreading. Yeah. Do that might also explain why he seemed a bit different. Like, he probably on edge to see the void leaking into reality. Yeah, he probably doesn't want people in his playground. Let's see. Well, yeah, he, I don't think he wants more of uh, Miss Copper Spoon again. Yeah. Let's yeah, see. one was good enough. Uh, Dowd's journal. She found me. I'm not surprised, only grateful. If anyone in the Isles could have found me, it was Lurk. She's just as capable as she always was. Remember when she was young? She wasn't the first street kid to join my can, gang, but she was the first to show real uh, promise. I took her in and oversaw her training myself. She took to the life more quickly and more desperately than most. I watched her grow up, get stronger, faster. She was always trying to impress me. But each year she became a little more ruthless, a little colder. She liked wearing that mask. I turned her into what she was, just like the outsider made me. When she betrayed me, I had no one but myself to blame. Now she's something else. I'm not sure what. I can't guess the kind of uh, life she's led without me, uh, who, she, uh, who she's hurt, or who she's scared about. She knows now that I forgave her a long time ago, but I wonder. And sometimes, if she ever thought not to forgive me. Mm. Okay, I was half expecting to walk into the void with this, but no. Can we get into anywhere here? No. Hmm. At the very least, she's keeping her ships secure. Yep. And of course, we get hurt in our own ship. Let's see. Is this? Yeah, this is the exact same spot I think as last time. Could have been a bit e hard, a, a bit hard to move up the ship. Yeah, here we go. Actually, is there anything underwater here? There's something there, but that does, that's past. Hmm, that's past the safety mark. I'm guessing I'm pretty sure past. That's just a fish. Actually, no, that's just a rock. Hmm. Wait, I get the rock. I hear frogs. Yeah. This is weird. Don't folks dislike salt water? Yeah, I think there are salt water frogs. Sick. You're assuming there's actual that frogs make about as much sense as any animal we've seen. Uh, point. point taken. Okay. Upper Syria. Okay, that hand looks unnatural. I yeah, think it's kind of point. not attached. Not completely, at least. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Follow the ink Follow in the his ear. quest to kill. In his quest to kill the outsider, Doubt has learned a special twin-bladed knife that is be. Uh, Learned of a special twin bladed knife that is being held somewhere in Upper Syria. Find out how who the eyeless leaders are and where they're keeping that knife. So the knife of Dunwell is chasing a knife. They are the pawn start again. Oh, okay, that thing has a swing to it. Yeah, uh, you might want to put a glove over that hand, Billy. 
<laughs> or if someone is going to freak the fuck out. Uh, Helen, there is a glove on it. She needs a lot bigger glove. Yeah. Wait, um... Why? I've no because use funny. pissing off the guards yet. Oh, oh this place. This place allows you to deploy a marker by holding and then swap positions with it by pressing. This place requires unobstructed line of sight and you must be within range of your marker. You can swap through fences and glass windows. That's going to be useful. But you can't deploy a marker through them. Okay, that's, that is more of a limitation then. But that would be... We could use that to uh, escape a bunch of people. So if you displace on another character's position, he will explode in pieces, but you will be hurt in the process. Uh, okay, Don't so let's it. not then. Uh -huh. And again, we, we don't need to go non-lethal and such. Incendiary bolts. What would you we say to Someone some unusual talking. gossip over there? Play nice tonight, mm -hmm. Bob. You win. I'm game if you are. Yeah, not this time. Okay, nothing useful to over here. Really, they're just openly advertising that stuff. That would be a just I, I, I can get the appeal of a strong drink. It's partially as a challenge. But also, just seriously, no. Yeah, but... Sure, we had the tradition to eat the sewer me, but we didn't drink it. Bone charm. I told her, if you want my advice... Just pay the fine and be done with it. No use making trouble. Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel safe anymore. Hmm. Oh, lady, these these streets are not gonna be even safer right for a while. Hmm. And do we have? To, uh, why did that open? Oh, somehow the mouse escaped the window again. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we immediately get these powers. Imper Impersonate another human. That could be useful. Okay. Foresight, stop time, and explore in spirit form. Hello. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, this should show that... Mark, there's an audiograph. Uh, Someone with a name. Okay. Can we up? Can we upgrade these? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. I'm guessing we'll get upgrades with time. And what's this? Black shard arm. A strange gift from the outsider, drawing and replenishing its power from the void itself. Yeah, he definitely did not give you the traditional mark. He just. Replacement yeah. limps. Yeah, I guess after Delilah, he got a bit wary of letting people tap into his power. Let's see. A fragment from an ancient void entity enabling Billy to see things that were hidden to her before. And the Rat Whispers and the Wailer Swords. Hmm. Ancient void... It might... It might be... Oh, gosh. Uh, is that... I shot for another outsider? I uh, don't think it'll be that. And it looks like our power will regenerate completely over time. Uh, okay. Semblance. Uh, when close to your human target to steal someone's identity, leaving them unconscious and fooling their allies. You can use semblance only on living humans, conscious or not. When you impersonate someone, your energy is drained while you're moving. Use semblance to impersonate specific character. Using semblance to impersonate specific characters will open some doors to you, but you will be detected if they notice you after spawning the original and target's body. Okay, and that's the timer going off. Okay. Uh, honestly, I honestly thought we'd be getting stuck on that first level for a bit longer. And I'll need to set a better setup for that. Or just get something else to take the time. Uh, mark Or mark the time. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in where the hell this is going to go. Yeah, same here. Yeah. 
And finally, Rome gets what he wants. A massacre. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, after two games uh, of playing it safe, uh, yeah, it'll be... <laughs> it'll deserve it. Be it uh, deserves to uh, cause some mayhem and see what you can do when you go full out in this game. Yeah. To... No. I guess we see who we say if it's the outsider or Dowd. Yeah. Like, I'll double check if there is anything that killing does or doesn't affect. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're probably going to go. Uh, we're going to go on a killing spree. Oh dear. And beyond that, there is something else that I noticed is that each of the characters that we've been playing have had somewhat similar but also different powers. Like, um, <clears throat> Corvo had Blink and Stop Time, also Possession. Uh, Emily had Four Reach, uh, Domino, and uh, Shadow Form, and another one that caused a distraction, the one that we only used once. And now Billy has Semblance, uh, this place and uh, yeah, that spirit form. Uh, to a degree, I think people have uh, said that the powers are somewhat dependent on the, the user's personality slash history. Hmm. So, okay. since you've literally been mostly stealthy, we get stealthier powers? Uh, not in that way, but on the character's uh, personality. Like, uh, <clears throat> that Billy has been uh, Megan Foster for so long that, uh, yeah, she is good at impersonating, so to speak, which is why she can impersonate through the void power, through her void powers. I'm guessing. A theory, at least. Yeah, a game theory. Oh, for love of... <laughs> <laughs> you set yourself up for that. <laughs> Okay, for now though, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with this, and from what I hear this game should, or this DLC should be reasonably short, but uh, I can assume that we'll probably be stuck on some bits quite a while as we try to uh, find bone charms and such to build up some strength. Very possible. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thank you anyone who has been watching uh, now or later. Uh, thank you, Zeri the Fox, for showing up. And thank you to hey, especially Drakir and Ram. You're most you're welcome, welcome, my friend. Oh, sorry. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it, like I said, tomorrow we'll be continuing. Then we'll have the weekend stuff as usual. And next week we'll be... Yeah. <laughs> continuing on with this yet further so uh, yeah thanks again and until then have a nice day and until then be safe folks have a good not night everybody if, not to see if i can find a good you know, the right shortcut because i've changed these as well <laughs>